This series of videos, I will be work giving full worked out solutions for the 2017 AP Calculus AB exam. And I'll also be going over key ideas that are being tested in this exam. So this is question number one from the free response section. A uh, graphing calculator will be required for this section. So what are some of the keys, in general, volume is equal to area times height. So this problem has given the function in, the, in terms of area, and along the x-axis is going to be height. So this is a function of area as a function of height. And volume is going to be area times height. So in this case here, the height of this graph times the width of this graph will give us volume. So some of the keys that are being tested here are that we'll be using rectangles to find area or Riemann sums. And secondly, we want to be able to interpret the units of the derivatives and integrals. So these are some key ideas that are being tested here. So question one, number one, it says a tank of height 10 feet, the area of the cross, -sectional, the cross sections of the tank at height h feet is given by the function a. So a of h is measured in square feet. The function a is continuous and decreases as h increases. Now that's an important point for part b. So selected values of h are given in the table. Part a says use a left Riemann sum with three subintervals indicated by the data in the table to approximate the volume of the tank. So first of all, we need to then understand that the area in this, in this graph that I've drawn is going to give us the volume of the tank. So we need to cal calculate the individual rectangular areas. So the first rectangle is 50.3 with a width of 2. So we, we're going to get 100.6. The second area rectangle, it has a width of 3 and a height of 14.4. So we get 43.2. And the last one gives us a width of 10 and a height of 2.9. And so sort of a width of 5 and a height of 2.9. So it gives us an area of 32.5. Okay, so these areas represent volumes. And the total volume, if we add this all up, we're going to end up with 176.3. And that's going to be cubic feet. Okay, so we need to interpret this area as volume. It's the area times the height. Okay, the, the y-axis represents area, the x-axis represents height. So each rectangular area is going to represent volume. Part B says, does approximation in part A overestimate or underestimate the volume in the tank? So explain the reasoning. So the key in this is, this is a, a decreasing function. Okay, so it's a strictly decreasing function. So it's always going down like this. So at no point can that line ever go above the blue rectangles. Okay, so if it did, then for example, if I went up here, it is no longer decreasing. Okay, anytime I go above that blue horizontal line, it is no longer a decreasing function. It's, it is increasing at some points. So this is a strictly decreasing function. So we know that it, it goes like this. Oh, that last little bit was not decreasing, but this is a decreasing function like this. And so that area must be an overestimate of the volume. Okay, so this is going to be an overestimate. And the reasoning that we can give is this is a strictly, strictly decreasing function. And it is very useful to be able to, to just sketch out a diagram of this of the table, so sketch out a graph of the table to be able to see, to justify this, to, for visually for you to see, but also to justify that this is a strictly decreasing and we can see that the area is gonna be an overestimate. 